Welcome to the Inside Scoop for August the 7th, 2024. We're gonna hop right into it. some new products that we released this week. First up, Medford. This is the Antic, particular one, uh, flame finish, bronze on the backside. This is a front flipper that I can actually flip. Relatively thin, reminiscent of the Slim Midi, just a, as far as the uh, thickness and whatnot, but we will compare that to the Infraction, which is in MagnaCut. So this manual opening, if anybody remembers the original design did not have the little jimping here. Uh, this was added shortly after, but you can flip it with that little mini tab. Again, MagnaCut, fade anodized finish. Comparing the two is gonna be quite a bit thicker, but not over the top. And I will compare it to my personal 187. Similar thickness. And you can see the sizes range quite a bit. This being the biggest, don't mind the tape gunk. I do use this knife every day. So some of the configurations, we've got multiples on the website. So some really cool looking stuff, well executed designs from Medford. Next up, we have some new hinderers. So this is the big boy, the XM24. Hinderer, when he, when they came out with the triway system, it, it changed the game for the entire Hinderer lineup. Personally, I think most notable on the XM24. If, if anybody remembers the old older gen stuff that did not have the bearings, XM24 was somewhat hard hard to flip, but now with the bearings, it's just it just rips. And this, if you see on the front, if you're paying attention to H, this is a hollow ground slicer. Rick is introducing the hollow grind in all of his slicer models. Then the exact opposite of that, little three inch, this is the Harpoon Tonto. These are all in S45VN, and you can see on the back, it's got the triway marking. Then the brand new one that they just released is the Eclipse Auto, currently available in Spearpoint, again in S45. The nicest part about Hinderer's autos is that they are compatible parts-wise with the previous generations. So you can still change the pivot, screws, standoffs. So you just need any uh, any Eclipse kit. Granted, if you buy a full kit, there will be a lock bar stabilizer, which obviously you're not gonna use on an automatic knife, but all the standard other hardware fits just fine. And just super cool to see the Eclipse in an automatic. More new stuff this week from Chris Reeve. We have uh, a variety of bead blasted, glass blasted rather, glass blasted finishes. This particular one is in the large and cozy, and you can just see the, try to get it close and focus here, just how smooth and clean that titanium is with the glass blast. A really sexy look, and as always, just perfectly functional. Chris Reeve knives always knocks it out of the park. I can't think of any, you know, valid complaints on, oh, you know, I've got a, I got a lemon, whatever the case may be, it is extremely rare. So one of the most consistently well-built knives in the industry. And we did receive in a handful of left-handed Umimzans, some new double lug large 31s, all with the glass blasted. So take a look at the website and there'll be something there that'll catch your eye. Next up, we have the Tactile Knife Archer. Nice flipper, and you can see it, I'll get it close here the micro texture on the handle. It doesn't look like much, but when it's in hand, you can definitely feel it. So clean design frame lock. It's got cool little uh, backspacer here, tactile mill, inset milling in there. So just super clean all, overall, nice little knife. And for size reference, it is a full hand. Change things up a little bit. We've got a fixed blade here. This is from Griffin. Really cool EDC knife. So this particular one, one of the, so Griffin does a lot of cool things that I, I like. They're one of the few places that I can think of that use titanium and brass on for fixed blade handles. It's, you generally see titanium on, on folders, but for it to be done on a fixed blade, I think is really cool. It does add a little bit of weight, but it just, it just feels great in the hand. So super slender, and this is just four fingers for me. Kydex sheath does come out of the box with the belt loop, but if you wanted to remove that and wear it as a neck knife, it does include a ball chain. 
To me, this knife's a little bit big for a neck knife, but at least it's an option for you. Just loop it through the two bottom eyelets. But just really well executed, variety of handles. If titanium's not your thing, there's micarta and even altum. So really cool little piece. Microtech always has something fresh. Seems like every week we've got some new SKUs coming in. This is Ultratech. This is the Bounty Hunter Carbonite finish. So a finish that I've not seen before. It's actually hard, hard to catch in the light here. So pretty cool. Uh, within this batch, I think there was 13, 13 new uh, configurations for us. So those that just hit the site, hopefully when you're watching this, everything's still available, but who knows? So really cool piece. Mike Tech's always got fresh stuff, known best for their out the front automatics. And they do have some side openers and manuals as well that within the MSI and the stitch and whatnot, but always cool stuff from them. This is not new, but just, just landed today. This is the Riot XOU. So this is the Utility Blade XO. It has a little lock here. So the original XOs didn't have any lock on them. Personally, I thought they were a little bit dangerous, but they've added locks on all of the models. So this, for 77 bucks, it's a cool little box cutter, legal just about everywhere that I, that I know of, because it literally just uses a, the old, box cutter blade. So go to the hardware store, pick up some Stanley blades and you're good to go forever. So switch it, drop back in and close it. Then that will close it shut. So really cool little piece, variety of colors. There's the diamond texture and the speed hole version. So just about something for everybody. And like I said, for 77 bucks, it's kind of hard to beat. And dropping next week, uh, the 13th at 10 a.m. Central, this is the Vehement Foreman. So new EDC design from them. They were in the EDC size, the grunt was always their most popular, but I've handled the grunt a long time ago, had one for a little bit, but I think this is just uh, from Vehement, one of the nicest fixed blades they've done, especially for somebody like myself that doesn't need a big knife, but prefer EDC size stuff. This just really fits the bill. Super comfortable in hand. Wide range of finishes, satin stone wash. There's gonna be a few tiger lips. Variety of handle materials, micartas, some frag G10s, different liner colors, some with mosaics. So just really spread across the board and extremely well executed. So look out for these next week, August the 13th. If you guys have any questions or comments, please post them below, we'll be happy to answer them. And if you want to see some other videos with stuff that we haven't shown you or we've had for a while that you just like more in-depth look at, throw that in the comments below too, and we'll talk to you later.